Hey, what up guys? My name is HB and today I'm here to show you how to make a Deoro type lead for Melbourne Bounce producers. So let's go. So basically there's four elements to the sound and I'm gonna show you them one by one, starting with oscillator one. So we have a saw wave, one voice, rich rig on, that is being filtered and the key thing here is the filtration. So we have bandpass set to 12 dB, the cutoff set to 4.9, the resonance set to 0 0.6 and the drive set to two. Now we also have a little bit of key track that is set to one. That's gonna give us a little bit of movement when we trigger uh, different notes. Uh, and this is how it sounds so far. Now, element two, all of the audio effects that we have here, uh, mainly the distortion, uh, overdrive, the amount sent to 7.5, that's gonna beef up the sound and gonna make it sound like this. And now I'm gonna add also the EQ. I'm just boosting the treble to 10 dB. And I'm gonna also bring the compressor that's gonna give us a little bit of attack. I'm gonna set the attack to 14.65 and the release all the way down set to, uh, set to one. And this is how it sounds with all of the effects on. Okay, and now element three, we're gonna introduce a little bit of pitch modulation starting with an envelope. We're gonna put it uh, uh, pitch A. We're gonna put the uh, tack down, all the way down, sustain all the way down, release all the way down, and the decay we're gonna set to 1.1. And here, the knob next to the, uh, the pitch, we're gonna set that to a minus 0.1. And this is how it's gonna sound like. So we're giving it a little bit of, uh, of initial uh, pitch down. Uh, and we're also gonna modulate the pitch through LFO 1. So we have the, uh, uh, the knob next to the pitch, we're gonna set it to 0 0.5, and the rate set to uh, uh, 1 8 gain set to 0 0.5 also, and this is how it's gonna sound like. So giving it a little bit of extra uh, movement on the pitch. And now the key element, element number four. So uh, we're gonna have oscillator two uh, set to a uh, sine wave. Let's bring this back to one voice, retrig on. Now this is important, depends on where you set the phase and the volume at, that's gonna affect the sound and how it's gonna sound like. I, I set it to a uh, uh, phase to 180 degrees and the, uh, the volume to 6.5. And this is how it sounds like. So as you can hear, it gave us a little bit more of bass to the sound, but also it kind of changed the sound from a saw wave type of sound to a little bit more of a squarish type of sound. And that's, I think, a really key element to, do, to these type of sounds within the, uh, the Milburg Bounce genre. I also have a uh, mono legato mode on, and I set the, uh, the portamento to uh, 117. Now here's a bonus tip. You can switch it up from normal to slide and that's gonna make it sound a little bit more uh, uh, Melbourne bounce-ish, uh, in the lack of a better term. And this is how it sounds like. And that's it. Let me know if it was helpful, so feel free to leave a comment down below. Uh, and as always, you can download the preset for free. Uh, the link is in the description below, so make sure to check that out. And also, I would like to remind you to join me on my live streams on Twitch. So I stream on Twitch under the username VHB, that's T-H-E-E -E underscore H-B. So please feel free to come on by, ask questions, I'm always down to help. Um, and I guess I'll see you guys next time.